embrace failure as your compass to success because if you are failing if you notice failures it means that you have goals and it means you have some form of expectations to how you want to live and the things you want to achieve so you are not totally lost and you see that there are things that you could be doing better or things that you um, missed out on or simply just projects that didn't go as planned so make sure to give yourself a pat on the back because you are striving for something so failure will be a guiding stone a guiding stone a guiding light and a way for you to see what you want and what you don't want because failures many times don't even depend on us you might be very good at something that you do but certain people that are also part of the whole mechanism might just not be looking for that that doesn't mean that you don't have the skill it just means that they are not looking for that specific skill or they already have someone for example you know so remember to not get disencouraged from the failures that you face master how you deal with failure and you are going to be much wiser and have more experience than people that just stop when they experience failure and don't continue so you will be much more likely to succeed than all the people that stopped at the little failures that anyone experiences when it comes to working on your goals on your skills on your passions on your desires and if you continue and move towards your goals not only you will learn but failure will not even be a thing to be upset about or a thing to be hanged up on because you will have so much experience and skill that you've been working on and creating that the failure in itself will not stop you from achieving what you are looking for to achieve people that stop on the failures never will succeed because they didn't continue so if you continue you will gain knowledge you'll gain skill you'll gain experience you will meet people as well as determine what are the type of people type of projects type of things that you firsthand experienced and people in the areas that you are trying to expand on experienced and they will tell you certain things that for people that stopped on their fa facing their failures and stopped when they faced failure you will experience much more than they did you will see much more of the world than they did and you will be able to determine and see okay so now what i know now where am i moving where am i going and is this really something i want or maybe i should shift to another branch maybe i should uh, put more attention on this so i can develop better this and that so it will always be a matter of your choice and the things that you face specifically failures what we call failures that we face are simply learning opportunities for us to determine if we are willing to shift do something better look for something a little different or you know simply continue on what we are doing because we know we are doing the right thing but in a better way you know sometimes it's just 
wrong place, wrong time. And it's okay. It means that you have something better for you, for you going on. You know, you if you didn't, if you took the opportunity and you failed, if you took the opportunity to go there and talk to those people and they rejected you, at least you know that you tried, you did what you had to do and you give your self to your spirit, to all possibilities, to God. And you take the opportunities, take the steps, take the measures and whatever works for you, works for you. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. It's all a great learning opportunity for us to uh, even build up the resistance and the power to withstand in the face of rejection and failure. It's so much more valuable because you gain the confidence to move on even after something that another person will look at and would be so intimidated that they would stop completely what they've been doing and they'll just go for, you know, a nine to five or just uh, they would go to something that is more secure. So if you are willing to experience failure, you will achieve success much more fast, much faster than someone that stopped at the face of rejection and failure. And you will be able to progress and have much more power to withstand and withhold any sorts of rejection, criticism, hate towards you. And you'll be sure at the things that you do and you will be able to create better skills and better ways for you to withstand the pressure as well as move in the face of criticism, move in the face of resistance, right? So embrace failure and see it as a guiding light for you to better determine what is it that you want, what is it that you don't want. And it's much easier for you to see what is it that you don't want because then it will be easy for you to choose and see what is it that you want by saying, I don't want to uh, live in these conditions. I don't want to have this lack of money, I don't want this, that, this and a third. And the more failures you face in your path to success and learning, the more you will be able to gain experience and to gain knowledge and to gain more perspective and the worldview. So then you can determine what is it that you want and you don't want. And it will be much easier and withstandable if you learn various skills along the way. For example, you might be an artist, you might be a musician, you might be an engineer, and you think that all you have to do is engineering, all you have to do is music, all you have to do is painting. But you will realize especially if you don't want to be part of a company that is treating you less than, then you should learn various skills, especially if you work a little bit on a nine to five or in a company, you will notice the process, all the things that go into building success and building a company, building and maintaining a company. You will see all the little steps. And if you learn, with them, for example, if you are in that situation, you will much more, you, you will gain a perspective on what you need to do if, when you are on your own, build all kinds of knowledge and skills on what you can do to achieve your personal success and success in projects that you are uh, putting effort into. So 
if you build up more skill and various ways to show yourself to the world, the better you will be able to progress rather than fail a lot of times. Although it's not a bad thing to fail a lot of times, but you also don't want to keep on experiencing the same thing because you are just on the same place, repeating the same thing, waiting for people to find you. While if you are able to learn with your mistakes and failures, you are able to create better things. Every time you do something, you do it better. So by building new skills and different skills, for example, if you are an artist, for example, you uh, are able to write well captions, you are able to manage your social media well, you are able to go to galleries and talk to people, you learn how to edit videos and process of your uh, painting, for example, you learn how to market and uh, sell your pieces, you learn where to go to sell your pieces. You learn all kinds of skills that you feel like are, and you will be learning with failures. You will be learning what kinds of skills you might be lacking or you will need to learn to get better at what you're doing. So by you learning various skills that will also uh, help you in whenever you face failure, you don't have only one source and one way to do things. If you failed in that way, you still have all of the other skills that you've been working on to work on and take your mind off certain things so then you can come back and have a much more fresher perspective on your work and the things that you are doing at the moment, right? So I wish this was helpful for you. And I've been thinking about this because uh, I think we all, even when we don't have anything that we think we might be looking for to do, right? You might be, you might have only a nine to five or you're going to school and you still don't know what you want to do, but we will still all experience some form of failure in a bigger or, a, or, or an, in a smaller perspective, in a smaller scale because we all have some sort of expectation. Being it small or big, we will see something that we need to improve on, that we could be doing better, right? And the faster you learn how to master how you react and how you deal with failure and rejection, the faster you will be able to get better get stronger, get more resistant to, I mean, resistant, not like, oh no, it's more like you are able to withstand all kinds of pressures from the world and even yourself. And so the faster you learn how to master how you deal with failure, the faster you will be able to learn and grow and inevitably you will reach success if you don't stop obviously wanting to reach something. Keep on building, keep on getting wiser and stronger, keep on shifting if needed, but never give up. So I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to make sure to check out my art page IG. Uh, it's in the description down below and I will see you all very soon. Bye bye.